if I had to choose just one firearm to a post-apocalyptic world, the choice would present no difficulty. The M1 carbine is probably the best general-purpose or all-purpose firearm ever designed. It manages to combine small size and light weight on the one hand with good ergonomics and excellent balance on the other. It's easy to carry around and pleasant to shoot. The M1 carbine is not a true rifle. It is something between a submachine gun and an assault rifle. An early personal defense weapon, maybe. I guess it was first of all meant to replace the Thompson submachine gun, which was heavy, expensive to make, short-ranged and underpowered. Because of its small size, the carbine is difficult to shoot from a lying position or from support. It was designed to be fired from the shoulder at human-sized targets 50 to 150 meters away by an average person who is not necessarily very good at shooting. More than 6 million M1 carbines were manufactured by different companies. This one was made by General Motors, which was the most important single producer. I have some aftermarket magazines for 15 and 30 rounds. They work fine, but unfortunately I cannot recommend them, because I cannot remember where I ordered them from. There seem to be no markings of any kind on them. Factory ammunition is of course available from different manufacturers. I have here ammo from Magtech and PPU. It is a bit expensive compared to more modern calibers, such as 223, because the demand is low, at least outside of the US. So, the 30 carbine is very suitable for reloading, and fortunately not especially difficult. I have a 3 die set from Lee. As with other 30 caliber ammo, I am not using the Lee expander, but rather my generic 30 caliber funnel, compatible with the Dillon charging system. Dillon does offer a dedicated conversion kit, but I have found out that you can use the 223 Remington kit. It is not a perfect fit, but it's close enough to work. I use Vichtavori N110 powder and CCI small rifle primers. Then I have 110 grain copper plated lead bullets by HN. The HN load data suggests 12 grains of powder with this bullet and this is what we will try. The cartridge headspace is on the mouth of the case. It is essential that your cases are of proper and uniform length. I suggest you trim your cases to 32.6 mm or 1.283 inches. As I said, the 223 shell plate is not a perfect fit. You need to push the case gently forward to keep it in place when priming. If you use a Dillon press, as I do. Unlike with most rifle rounds, you need to expand and flare the case mouth before seating the bullet. And of course, you need to apply just enough crimp to make the mouth straight again.
the cartridge overall length should be 42.5 millimeters. I will be testing this ammunition at the shooting range in the next video. So until then, bye.